I like its fundamentalist stand and say that the teacher are faithful to the word of God whenever they speak and preaching and teaching they always quote the Bible verses so I like it very much the Lord confirmed in my heart that FBC was the place and also because of its strong stand and because of its proper and serious teaching of the word of God especially concerning Hebrew and the Greek language FBC is the one that I came to know uh, when I when I first thought about you know um, studying God's word um, and, I, and I believe that you know as a, as a BP you know I should hold on to BP doctrines and and this, this college is fine for me FBC offer a very good uh, fundamental teaching of God's Word and I, I, I think this is a very important for I mean for preachers you know because my auntie is here was a student here four years then she asked me this college is better from this college I can know many of the God's Word they stand more for the Word of God the purity of the Word they don't compromise and I was only searching for God and the truth in His Word, and I found FABC was providing it. FEBC, Far Eastern Bible College, the School of Prophets for the Word of God and the testimony of Jesus Christ. Established in 1962, the FEBC is the training center of the Bible Presbyterian Church. Here, her future church leaders, pastors and preachers are trained and built up. The Bible College is as important to the church as Safti is to Singapore. Without the Bible College, there will be no church in a generation's time. When the aging pastors pass off from the scene and you do not train the younger ones, who carries the torch? It gives the solid doctrine and because of the great influence outside as pressurizing the church from the world and the charismatism uh, in the world and also liberal and neo-orthodox uh, belief has come into many many colleges the pioneering work was not without difficulties many bridges had to be crossed before the fruits of labor can be seen the college started with only three students and one lecturer. So when we came in here, it was a hall of majestic emptiness. There was not even one stick of furniture. So I sat on a kitchen stool and uh, three students on uh, three kinderg kindergarten stools. And I spoke to them from Psalm 34:10. The young lions do lack and suffer hunger, but they that seek the Lord shall not want any good thing. The burden, of course, was to uh, teach the students and to have adequate staff. Well, that was a main uh, problem to get the staff. And the other was that uh, we were quite uh, isolated because we are separatists. And so there are a lot of uh, evil comments from outside. So much so that at the end of the first year, two of my students left. So I, w I had only one student. So I re felt really discouraged. On one hand, it was very difficult. On the other hand, it was very easy. Because the spirit was very high. And we just looked to the Lord. And we just trusted somehow the Lord will supply. It is with this philosophy 
plus the faith in God and the determination of her founding fathers that FEBC has persevered and prospered. This year, the enrollment totals 63. FEBC does not only take in local students. It is an international college. Students of different nationalities have also come to be trained in the most holy faith. FEBC, we thank God, uh, is in Singapore. And Singapore, though small, is in a very strategic position. We train not only uh, leaders in uh, Singapore and Asian countries, we even train for uh, people as uh, students as far as in, uh, England, India, Australia. So it is important. Uh, it, the training of men for the ministry must go, must go along with, together with church growth and missionary advance. The reason why I come to study at FEBC, the, the first thing is to, to equip myself to serve the Lord in my country, Indonesia. And the second thing is uh, for personal interest. After being born again, I have the thirst to study God's Word. LPBC is a fundamental school, and I wouldn't like to choose any school that will spoil my faith. I looked at colleges in Australia, and nothing compared to FEBC in terms of the fundamental stance and the quality of the lecturers. Because I want to study Word of God, okay. and, um, and also I want to be a missionary in Asian countries. But some of them have to go through some initial struggles. First time, uh, my mother um, um, was not happy to come here because she was very worried because here is uh, not Japan and foreign country and she did not have any knowledge about Singapore. Just she thought um, Singapore is a very dangerous place. My family, my, especially my mother, a strong Buddhist. Mm -hmm. But later, now she starts to understand my religion, my Christianity. Slowly, slowly, God changed my mother's heart. When I first started out, my mum was really worried. She flew up here and she spent a week here <laughs> just you know, having a look at the place and I suppose finding out you know, from Reverend Tai and Mrs Tai and the church itself to make sure it was um, not some cult. The academic curriculum covers a wide spectrum of topics which can be classified under one of five departments Old Testament, New Testament, Systematic Theology, Church History and Practical Theology. These will ensure that each student receives the full measure of and the solid grounding in God's Word. God's instruments for imparting these knowledge are the lecturers, the teaching staff. Without them, there can be no Bible college. Up to them. But our history will take us to Esther. That means uh, after the return from exile plus the period of the Persians. There are, of course, other textbooks in the book room. You can browse through and if the Apostle Paul's instruction to Timothy is that the things he has heard of him amongst many witnesses commit thou to faithful men who will be able to teach others also. So the ministry of teaching is part of the ministry to continue the apostolic uh, teaching and what the church believes in. So if the BP movement is to continue, we must train uh, others who will go out to train others as well.
So the process of training must continue and FEVC is most eminently placed to do this training. Presently, there are about 11 lecturers. But God also sends His appointed servants from overseas to minister to the students. They are Reverend Antonio Omeo, Principal of the Fundamental Baptist Bible Institute, Reverend Dan Ebert III, Pioneer Missionary, from Grace Theological Seminary, Dr. John Davis, and Dr. John Whitcomb, also from Grace. Reverend Dennis Shelton from Sydney, Australia. And Dr. Peter Masters, pastor of the Metropolitan Tabernacle in London. But academic excellence is not the ultimate pursuit of a Bible college student. There are other essential areas that the students need to develop. While we are saying that character is important, we are not dismissing the need for doctrine. But the doctrine is very important insofar as it forms the foundation upon which life and character must be built. This is important because a character that is not based upon the Word of God would be defective immediately. The role, therefore, of the lecturers must not be confined to the academic aspects. They also have the responsibility for influencing the character of those who study at their feet. Not only does a student imbibe the knowledge, he imbibes the attitudes of the, the professors, his vision, his goals. I think all these are carried over into the student by the professor. So it is very important how the professor teaches and uh, his preparedness, his understanding of the subject, his depth of maturity and his interest, his motivation, all this carries over into the student. Gathering classroom knowledge will not be useful if they are not applied. The Wednesday afternoons are therefore reserved for evangelism. From the spiritual to the physical, daily exercises are also conducted to keep the students' bodies fit and healthy. Empress down, just one more. Uh, just one more. Whoa, and down. Okay, change legs. So the feet both point in the same direction to the front. Energies used need to be replenished. Fellowship around the table somehow makes the food taste better. <laughs> Uh, brother one, uh, brother one. Brother one, two, three. Thank you. Okay. 
Apart from studies, the college provides the students with opportunities to meet other people who are also preparing for the ministry. This will ensure a sense of community among the students. To ensure that each student obtains a complete and proper training, they have to live in the college. Apart from the singles dormitory, accommodation for married couples are also provided. At the end of three or four years, it is hoped that each student graduates not only with a knowledge of God's Word, but also with a character that demonstrates and manifests the reality and power of God. But what are the vulnerabilities of the students? I do from time to time uh, faced with some uh, temptation of the world because I've been in uh, business for many years and then it does come back to me once in a while but uh, by God's mercy and grace uh, we are able to withstand it. In the process of three or four years will he grow, mature, equip himself and say Lord here am I, send me or will he become a professional and hope to just make a good living somewhere like any other secular job? Professionalism is a great temptation. Pride is one that has to be guarded against or you will fall and be become the use of the Lord. If we do not really love the Lord, then we find that if we have to forgo many things, we may find that we ultimately run back and give up the calling if we are not careful. We must continue to teach the word of truth that they may be deeply, firmly established in the word of God, that they may be able to use the word of God themselves. And when they know what is the truth, then they will be able to take a stand. For 23 years, the Far Eastern Bible College has produced over a hundred of God's servants. FEBC, the genius behind church growth, continues to stand firm on God's Word, holding forth the Word of life. Oh God.